GCSE Mathematics Direct Proportion. So firstly, what is direct proportion? If you have two quantities, they are directly proportional to each other if they are always in the same ratio. So for example, if we had the quantities x and y, if we doubled x, we would have to double y. If we halved x, we'd have to half y, and so on for any multiple or division you like. If you increase one by a factor, you increase the other by the same factor. We write this as such. So y is directly proportional to x. We use this little symbol, which looks a bit like a stretched alpha, but it just means directly proportional. Now, if we were to draw the graph of two quantities which are in direct proportion to each other, so for example, y and x, we'll always get a straight line on the graph, such as this one. So let's look at solving some problems involving direct proportion. So in this question, we've got a table, of some x values and y values, and we're told that y is directly proportional to x. So both of these values are going to increase by the same factor each time. We need to fill in those missing values. So we've got a pair at the beginning of x is 10 and y is 22. We need to find the y that will match with 15 for the x. So if we look at what's happened here, going from 10 to 15, we've multiplied the 10 by 1.5. So because x and y are in direct proportion, we need to do the same to the y value. So 22 times 1.5 is 33. For the last column, we're going to do the same thing. So we'll look at what's happened to get from 10 to 20. So that's times by 2. So we do the same for the y. 22 times 2 is 44. We could have used the middle column if we liked. We could have said, OK, what do we have to do to get from 15 to 20? I picked the first column because the multiplication is a bit easier, but we'd get the same answer either way. We can also compare them by rows. So if we look, we can see that we're in the first row when y is 22 and x is 10. The x has been multiplied by 2.2. If we look at the next column, 15 to 33, that's also a multiple of 2.2. And the very last one, 20 times by 2.2, gives us 44. So we've got this multiplication working its way all the way through the table here. Now we're going to use that fact to solve this one. So in this table, again, y is directly proportional to x. We're going to fill in the missing values. We could use the exact same method as we used in the last problem by comparing columns. We're going to look at this a slightly different way just to see a different way of solving it. We're going to compare them row by row. So let's look at what's happened from that first x value 4 to the y value of 3. To get from 4 to 3, you'd have to multiply by 3 quarters. Now, as x and y are directly proportional, they're in the same ratio as each other, this means that this must always be true. The y value is 3 quarters of the x value. So looking at that next row, we've got x is 16. So to fill in this box here, we would times by 3 quarters, which gives us 12. For the last missing value, well, this is the value of x. So we know that x times by 3 quarters gives us y. So to get back to x, we're going to have to flip that around and divide. So to fill in this, we would do 24 divided by 3 quarters, which is 32. And again, we can double check by comparing the columns. So to get from 4 and 3 to 16 and 12, you'd multiply both of them by 4. To get from 16, 12 to 32, 24, you'd multiply both by 2. So again, we've got that multiplication going both ways, both between the columns and between the rows. One thing that very often comes up with direct proportion at GCSE is the worded question. It usually starts by saying y is directly proportional to x, and then you get a pair that fits into this. So when y equals 20, x equals 4. And we're going to use those two facts to find the value of y when x equals 48. So we're told that y is directly proportional to x. Now, as we said earlier, this means that y and x are in the same ratio all the time. So y is always going to equal a constant, which we shall call k, times by x. Now, this k is the constant of proportionality. Okay? Don't have to worry about the name too much. But what we're going to do now is we're going to work it out. So y equals kx. We're told that when y is 20, x is 4. So if we substitute those in, 
we get 20 equals k times 4, so k must equal 5. Replacing that k in our y equals kx, we get y equals 5x. So this is the equation that links x and y together always for this question. So we know that x is 48, so we'll substitute that in. 5 times 48 gives us an answer of 240. Let's try that again. So y is directly proportional to x. When y equals 27, x equals 378. What is the value of y when x equals 210? So again, y is directly proportional to x. We replace the proportion symbol with equals k, our constant of proportionality, and substitute our two values in. So y is 27, x is 378. So 27 equals k times 378 k equals 27 divided by 378, which equals a 14th. Therefore, y must equal a 14th times x, or x over 14. Now we need to find the value of y when x equals 210. So y equals 210 over 14, which equals 15. Now we can also have direct proportion questions involving squares, square roots, cubes, so on. But the basic method works in exactly the same way. So in this question, y is directly proportional to x squared. So this means that as y doubles, the whole value of x squared would also double. So it's not x that would double, it's x squared, and so on. Now we're gonna use exactly the same method as before. So y is directly proportional to x squared. We replace the symbol with equals k, so now we've got y equals k times x squared. So now we've still got that x squared there. So that's the thing that's directly proportional to y. We're going to put our values in. So 45 equals k times 3 squared, which equals 9k. So k must equal 5. So replacing the k, we get that y equals 5x squared. And we can now put our x value in. So y equals 5 times 6 squared, which is 5 times 36, which equals 180. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.